the first step, obviously checking out your own face, just you know your own face for any little you know, skin tacks or moles or anything like that. The one thing I would just say, just make a little point of where they are. Once you've got your face covered in foam, you know, you can easily sort of miss them and sort of just go over them. Uh, your second step, most probably one of the most important steps, just to sort of really cleanse the face uh, as well as you can. And then going in with a sort of really hot, as hot as you can get it sort of towel. Just pop that over the face for a few minutes. What that's gonna do is, is one, it's gonna sort of help to just soften the hair a little bit, what you're about to shave. And secondly, just open up all the pores so it's a bit more receptive to the shave. It's not sort of too uncomfortable for you then as well. Using the circular motion as you're applying the foam with the brush. Preferably a nice uh, you know, badger brush or similar sort of shaving brush, uh, whatever you've got at home. Again, the reason for using the brush over anything else, mixed with the warm water against the foam, just helps everything to foam up really nicely, really luxuriously. Moving into the actual shave itself, the main sort of technique is to ideally hold the blade at around a sort of 45 degree angle. It can be a little bit less, it doesn't need to be exactly on, but with 45 degrees, you're not gonna be dragging that blade across your face and any dangers of sort of cutting yourself or, you know, eliminated with the angle a little bit. And the second sort of most important thing as well is to just really stretch out the skin as, as much as you can. Hold that as taut as you can, as tight as you can. The reason being, it's not sagging anywhere. You're not gonna go over any little bumps or anything like that. Another sort of important step with the actual shave itself is we always teach to go just with the grain of the hair. So just being aware, again, while you're going through it, and before you start, just having a little look, the direction that the hair's actually growing in. The reason to go sort of with the grain rather than go back against it, it just stops you from just getting any sort of irritation. And for afterwards, I would always suggest just putting through, even before you kind of rinse your face with cold water, just a little bit of an aftershave gel. Again, preferably optional at home, uh, obviously for putting a cold towel on yourself but if you if you can and you've got the time just take a few minutes just to sit with a cold flannel on your face again just any little like blood spots what may have appeared from just rising up to the surface that will all just soothe it down and the pores will be nice and closed again again just leaving you as, as smooth and fresh as you can feel after a, a clean shave that's your key steps to a perfect shave